This makes your skin so glowy. Good morning, it's Saturday at 7.18. I've been up since like 5.30 because I didn't want to oversleep, but I am getting my first hair and makeup trial done today for my wedding and I'm really nervous actually. And I've shared this before, I actually have to hurry up because I have to leave in like 15 minutes. I don't really have to do anything. I already washed my hair last night and I don't have to wear any makeup obviously because they're doing my hair and makeup. But last year, I got headshots done for work and it was the first time I actually ever got my makeup done professionally and my headshot does not look like me in the slightest. I remember getting it done, I went into work, got it done in the office and I remember going into the bathroom at the office and being like, who is that? Who is that in the mirror? I did not feel like myself all day. It was so crazy and it kind of scarred me. Like my headshot does not look like me at, at all. Like I don't know who that is, it's not me. So it's kind of scaring me for this process for wedding makeup trials and um, so hopefully it goes well. I mean, I have some photos, I have some that I got off Pinterest and some hairstyles that I'm thinking about doing, but I'm just doing some light skincare. Um, just did the road glazing milk and now I'm doing hyaluronic acid. I dumped my face in ice water to help with depuffing and I did my new face already and I think I'm gonna wear eye patches in the car. My sister is coming with me. She's such an angel for coming with me. Yeah, I just kind of wanted her there for support but I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog and welcome me back to another video. I'm gonna try and get some video clips throughout the process of them doing my makeup. So, um, I think I'm going for like, I don't want to look like a completely different person, but I want to look like a little bit more done up than my usual day-to-day -day makeup. So like a good balance between those. Just finishing up my coffee. I have started this thing where every time that I do something wedding related, I have to drink out of this mug. My older sister got this for me when I got engaged and Christian also has one that says lucky Mr. Seho. So I always drink out of this mug the morning of something wedding related is happening. I look very tired so I think I'm going to put these on and drive with them on to the place. I also put on my robe because I get cold at this time in the morning. I think what sucks today too is I don't really have any plans so I'm like spending, it, it's quite a bit to get like a makeup hair and makeup trial i'm just like shocked and i don't have any plans i'm going to my dad's house after with my sister to discuss some wedding things and then i think we're going to lunch but that's about it i really want to see how this makeup wears all day i want to take photos on this camera with flash i just want to see how it wears i'm going to inquire about like the concealer that she's using and certain products just in case I do end up going with this makeup artist, I was reading up online some like wedding day regrets and a lot of girls said that when you cry, your makeup obviously comes off and she didn't have like a concealer that matched with the one that they put on. So I thought that was a really good tip, making sure that your makeup is like semi-ish waterproof and having makeup that matches to touch up later in the day. I am so nervous. I'm so excited to kind of like see the result, <laughs> but I'll share and I'll bring you along for as much as I can. I don't want to like bombard them with a camera at 8 a.m., but I'm just, I want to get some videos and some photos at least to share with my bridesmaids too um for their hair and makeup but yeah that's what's going on today i'm gonna change and put on my eye patches and drive over my sister's meeting me there and we'll get this wedding hair and makeup trial started <laughs>
Okay, I just got home from the hair and makeup trial. It has been two hours since the trial and my hair was put up, taken down, put in a ton of different styles and it has a ton of hairspray in it. It feels <laughs> like there's a ton of hairspray. So this is probably not how it's going to look. Um, it has fallen. It is so humid here. So I was outside with my dad this morning after the hair and makeup trial so it has been two almost three hours since i left so so far it's wearing pretty well i love it i think it looks really really good i will definitely probably go a little bit different i did come home and make some adjustments to it that i wanted like i did my brows a little bit darker she did it very natural and i did some black eyeliner in my waterline and I don't think I'm gonna do any shimmer on the lid day of. I think I'll also go a little bit darker with the tone, but overall, I really like it. I think I still look like myself. It's just like a little bit more elevated, which is what I wanted. My lip color came off, but the blush is holding up pretty, pretty well. I'm trying to show it with my little ring light that I have but I'm really happy with it and I was really happy with the hair, how the hair turned out and like the different options. And I probably won't make a decision until the day of, depending on how everything looks um, with the dress and the weather. Just, I think that's what is it's gonna come down to because it is outside. I think it will just be dependent on that, but I did wanna see both options of if I were to like wear my hair down or if I were to wear it up. So that will be a decision for the day, but I did like both styles we tried. Um, and I really do like the makeup. It will probably just be a little bit darker um, and I'll probably use black eyeliner instead of like the brown eyeliner that she used But I had my sister take a ton of clips throughout the process So I haven't really like fully looked through all of them, but I will definitely insert Them into this video and I will probably have Christian not look at the video or watch it um, He does watch my videos, but he didn't watch the wedding dress one and maybe I'll have him not watch this one just so he doesn't see like the hairstyles or anything so that way some of it's gonna be a surprise like makeup I mean I wanted to wear this makeup all day and I really want to see how it wears so far it looks still really good maybe I will blot in a little bit but she used like an airbrush over the foundation I think my skin looks great love the concealer I just I feel like myself I feel like myself which was the most important and I told her about like my headshot photos and just my concerns so I'm just really happy and I do have another hair and makeup trial at the end of this month with a different company and I'm almost debating on just not and saving the money because it is pretty expensive to do these trials so i really like how this makeup turned out and i'm very happy and i would be super happy with this makeup on my wedding day i'm gonna see how it wears and go from there but just wanted to share this process um i did take a clip of what the company's name is i'll put it on the screen right here and i'll also link their instagram down below if you are a bride or if you have any special events i know they do special events weddings anything so if you're interested in booking through the company i will put their information down below this company was recommended to me by my wedding planner and i believe they did her wedding day makeup too and also the other company that i have a trial booked with but not sure if I will do it. This is the problem also with wedding makeup trials. It's like, I don't wanna necessarily limit myself to one artist or one look, but I think they gave me exactly what I wanted to achieve. It's almost just like a little bit more elevated of like my everyday makeup that I wear, um, which is what I wanted. I wanted to feel like myself, just like a little bit more, a little bit more elevated, but still look like me because I don't want to be surprised when I get wedding day photos back. And I'm like, who is that girl? I'm happy. Um, we'll see how it wears. I'll keep you updated. And yeah, just wanted to share. The makeup has been on for 10 hours now. 
which I feel like was a good test to really see how it lasts because I will most likely have the makeup on from 10 to 12 hours. So I feel like at this point, it still looks really good and I'm very happy with it personally. And if it were to be on for another two hours, four hours, whatever, I would be very, very happy with it. So most likely we'll probably move forward with booking this makeup artist for my wedding day and canceling my second makeup trial, which I know is a little bit risky, I guess you could say, but I'm very, very happy with the makeup that I got and I just don't necessarily see the point in trying something else if I'm very happy. I've taken photos, videos on my phone and I'll even insert a video right here of what my makeup looked like at the six hour point with flash on and also i took one at eight and a half hours and i've eaten i've been in and outside it's been raining here it's humid i have brushed through my hair it still looks pretty decent it's completely fallen i haven't touched up any of the curls or anything and it looks pretty good i had a burrito for dinner and the makeup around my mouth is still pretty good so very very happy with how it turned out and i would be insanely happy with this makeup on my wedding day so just wanted to do the final update the 10 hour almost 10 and a half hour update i did only blot once and it wasn't like a full blot it was just like right here and i think like right here maybe a little bit on my chin i think that's pretty good for 10 hours of makeup um in the florida heat right after summertime and our wedding is in march so i think i'm gonna be good i'm very happy i know what i'll probably need to pack for touch-ups she told me that she'll leave me like a little bit of concealer just in case i want to touch up after the fact i know the few changes that i would make i'm actually really surprised that the blush lasted it's known to be the first thing that kind of goes on your skin so you always want to do like heavier blush because it's the first thing to kind of like go and blend and fade so i wanted to update before i got in the shower and i'm just very grateful for another really good experience considering the first experience i had with getting my makeup done very happy with this experience and yeah just wanted to share highly recommend i will like i mentioned link the company that i used down below yeah sometime this week i am going to move forward with booking them and yeah and then i also need to book a florist i have decided to move forward with a specific floral company so i'm gonna go look at them the last like big vendor that we have to book is honestly the tj and lighting i think it's like the last name because we have our photographer videographer obviously wedding planner i'm probably going to book this makeup artist and then florist we're kind of getting to the last little bit of planning and then it comes in all the little details so i am going to sadly take this makeup off get in the shower and get in pjs and just hang out and watch some football ucf football game is on so we're gonna watch that and just hang out can't hear the washer in the background going on but um, I'm getting ready and putting on some makeup 
and I got some new road products in the mail. I am obsessed with the blushes that I got a couple months ago now. Also the cutest packaging ever. I did just think when I originally got them that they would be bigger, but decent amount of product inside. So the two colors that I got were the color Juice Box and Spicy Mark. Originally great summer colors, I think. Super bright. Um, I really do love this one, the Spicy Mark one. It's probably my favorite, but since it is September, I wanted to get some nice colors for fall so i got the toasted teddy and the freckle which i thought these would be great colors and then i also got a lip color and i got this in toast this is a great lip for fall honestly year round it's a great color but i tend to not wear color on my lips usually it's just like a clear gloss or my favorite kind of shade that i love to wear that kind of is a hint of a color is the Laneige purple gummy bear gloss. I love like the purple shade that it gives my lips. It's probably my favorite color, I guess you could say. So here are the colors that I got. This is the Toasted Teddy and then this is the Freckle. I feel like Toasted Teddy is like a great kind of both contour and blush or like a bronzer blush. Very nice color. I think today I'm gonna do freckle. I haven't tried this one yet. I did try this one this week and I loved it, but these are super pigmented. I love the color so far. These are my favorite blushes ever. I love cream blushes. I love the colors. I love how they wear. I love how long they last. They are 110% worth the hype and I didn't think they were going to be when I first bought them because you know how I mean, when you see them on TikTok, social media, you never really know. So when I bought these two colors, the Spicy Marg and um, Juice Box, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I do love her lip products. I just find that if they're in cold environments, they tend to get like grainy, which I don't love, but I live in Florida. And if you just, honestly, if you put this in, like a warm glass of water, like the whole entire tube. It breaks up all the grain in the tube, or I just put it in my car and it's good to go after like an hour sitting in the sun. Um, that's the only thing I don't like, but I love the, this is like a ride or die product, the glazing milk, it's my favorite thing ever. So I really do love her blushes, they're incredible. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lid. So I thought these were just, Pretty blushes for kind of fall winter I think probably my favorite makeup product is blush I think it completely just changes every look this is like a desert island product that I take with me I feel like it makes a big difference because I don't have a lot of color on my face as is I stay out of the Sun as best I can and blush just does it all for me truly does so I will link the colors down below. These are great colors for fall and winter. And this one is just such a gorgeous color. I did it all over my, um, where I put like contour and blush earlier this week for work and it just looked incredible. So, okay. I just took out my crock pots. I'm gonna be making chili all day today in the crock pot. I always double batch it so that way we have tons of extras holds up really well in the freezer and we're good to go what? so i'm so excited to be cooking the chili i'll link the recipe that i have been using for years now down below i always make this recipe it's so yummy yeah that's the plan for today we got the seven hours of commercial free football that's about to start in four minutes so um, I'm gonna pick up some lunch for us. I have a nail appointment at three. I'm gonna try and get the chili done and in the crock pot before my nail appointment. That way it is done by dinner because I do it on the slow cooker for about five and a half to six hours. So, but it makes the kitchen smell so yummy and it's so, so good. Anyways, I also wanted to quickly mention before I go pick us up some lunch and before football starts that I got these lozenges and a bunch of goodies from Beekeepers Naturals. And Christian came back from his bachelor trip sick. 
and as you can imagine and i think this is one of the main reasons why i didn't get sick at all or feel under the weather in any way i took one of these vitamin c packets every single day since he got home and never got sick i don't love the taste of these i did want to be honest about that this doesn't taste like amazing tastes kind of like medicine but i really think it did help christian also used these lozenges we got the ginger lemon and the honey it tastes kind of like candy honestly and then this immune support spray which doesn't taste bad i used it a couple times so actually really surprised that i didn't get sick because i feel like i do have a weak immune system and i tend to get sick if christian gets sick and he never gets sick so I will link these products down below if you're interested. We are getting into the colder months. I feel like it's more common to have more of a compromised immune system because of the weather and flu, cold, sicknesses go around. So I think that you can get this stuff at Target too, but I will link it down below. I did want to mention, I cannot believe I didn't get sick at all. So. I'm about to get in the shower. I just cleaned up dinner. And I'm gonna take this magnesium before I get in the shower. I took this last night and I took a clip of my sleep score this morning and I had a really good sleep score. My heart rate dropped early. I had over three hours of REM sleep and I slept for just a really long time. So I'm gonna try it again. I got this from 1UP Nutrition. I do have a code with them always. I will put it on the screen right here and I'll also link it down below. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. And I probably wouldn't know all of the stats if I didn't have that ring. So it's just really telling to kind of look at your sleep score and see how much a supplement really helped. So I'm gonna drink this. I got the mango lemonade flavor. I don't like the taste of this. And that's surprising because I usually love mango flavored things, but I don't like the taste. So I'm gonna get a different flavor next time. Yeah, promotes physical and mental relaxation, improves brain function, memory, and mood enhances cellular energy production. It also has vitamin C in it and vitamin D3. Cheers, I'm gonna drink this and then make my tea after I get out of the shower.